Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Undertale. In the last episode, we made it through the mini dungeon, as I have officially named it, trying to get to Toriel and see where she's gone, and she seemed to have a surprise for us that she didn't want us to know about. In this episode, we are finally caught up with her, and we're going to see what that surprise is exactly. Is it this very spooky, creepy tree? I don't think so. Every time this old tree grows in any leaves, they fall right off. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, we got another save point right here. I guess we'll keep on saving. Uh, seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Okay, keep on going. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! Uh, but I said I wanted just cinnamon, not butterscotch. I didn't actually get the option to say whether or not I like butterscotch. I actually don't. Uh-oh. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on small on snail pie for tonight. Wait, is it shaped like a snail or made from snail? I don't want to eat snails. Here, I have another surprise for you. Hmm. Do you like the art style in this area? That's kind of cool. These books are worn. They have they must have been read many times. Uh, anything else we could examine? We could go down downstairs. I feel like we're gonna get in trouble if we don't follow her, but I gotta explore everything. Uh, inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 201X. How do I pronounce that? Like, with Earthbound it was easy to say 1990X, but now I'm like 2001X? I don't know. Huh. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Well, I named my character Human, so I'm not, any, I'm not any better. The ends of the tools have been filled down to the, make them safer. Uh, can we examine anything else? Can we examine the table? Nope. Do you like the music here? Sounds very nice. This game did come with a soundtrack, so I'm sure it has a very celebrated soundtrack as well. Uh, for some reason, there is a brand named Chocolate Bar in the fridge. There is some white fur stuck to the to the drain. <laughs> Inside uh, the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Fire magic, yes, of course. We just met her. We don't know if she has fire magic. What a weird assumption. Uh, do I dare go down into the basement? Something tells me I'll get in a lot of trouble for it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ooh, purple. And lack of music, oh god! Hey, do not go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. And she takes us away. But do I go back down again? Yeah, she's gonna keep on stopping us. Doesn't look like there's any different dialogue, so... Okay, we at least got to see the back side of her room. Now we're gonna go see the front side. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh, she's pinning us. It's so nice. Is something burning? Um, uh, make yourself at home. Uh, let's see. Got nothing here. How many rooms are there? Oh god, I'm gonna get lost here forever and ever. It's you! How nice. <laughs> uh, you have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. Uh, okay. Oh, I was thinking like the name of the plant, like we gave it a name, like Charlie and Phoenix Wright or something like that. Uh, I don't think that's what they meant. Oh, blue room, da ba dee da da Just a regular old bucket of snails. What the fruit? Why are there snails everywhere? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Her, her, her. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Uh, Toriel's small chair. Its name is Cheriel. What? Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of well wetland flowering plants with brown oblong sea pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> what? Peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer! <laughs> oh, the scandal of the century right there. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most tsundere of plants. <laughs> oh my god, I love the writing. That's sort of the... Uh, I like the freedom of writing, because like, 
it has that same humor of Earthbound, but at the same time, there's things that they probably wouldn't say in Earthbound or in a mother game because uh, Big Bad Nintendo is being a buzzkill when Party Pooper wouldn't let us say certain things. Room under renovations. Can't go in there. But yeah, it's just funny, like some certain lines that you wouldn't expect to hear in a mother game. And we have a very red room. Uh, let's see. Oh, I jumped into bed. There's a hat here now. Oh, I know that's pie. Uh, look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids shoes in, dis in disparity of sizes. Okay. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. And we take it. I assume it's just a uh, healing thing. We don't have a lot of inventory space. Butterscotch pie, all HP, butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. So it restores all HP, that's nice to know. Uh, but where'd she go exactly? We find her over here, or, yep, oh, she's reading, how nice! Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble, I'm gonna try going into the basement again. Down we go. And she's gonna stop us, yep. I think you should play upstairs instead. Okay, goes back around. I'm playing upstairs, whoop de doo It's weird that she just adopts us, and I don't even know what our purpose here is. Uh, it's a history book. Here's a random... Oh, no, we read this already. I don't know why I read it again. Okay. Up already, I see? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a, cur a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I like her faces. I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can- oh, Nothing. When can I go home? I guess nothing. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. So we were just- I don't know what we are. We're, like, we're not an adult. We're like a- child so we weren't like I guess we were traveling but for what purpose and why did we end up here and where were we before I don't really know and I feel like we do have to ask her this question eventually it's called 72 uses for snails do goats eat snails or something or is this just a weird joke or something how about it uh sure how to wait wait what how about what how to exit the ruins here's an exciting snail fact did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? What? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? Uh, if I say nothing. If you need anything, just ask. Okay, so now I could ask her how to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. Avoiding the question, I see. Is that something downstairs? Cause I'd like to see if it is. Go down the stairs, god darn it. And hello. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. But we wanna leave? I think. I don't know. I don't think she's evil, so I don't mind living here with her forever, but at the same time, I think that's our objective, so... Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Hmm. But here's the thing, we were when we were intro introduced to this place, right off the bat, we found out that we weren't safe here. And there are plenty of other things that have been trying to kill us as we've been here. So... I don't think we're entirely safe if we stay here either. 
but is there some magical alternative to it that we could live forever if we stay here? I don't know. I don't know who Asgore is. Huh. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Oh god. I feel like there actually is a choice, like I could just go upstairs and have a completely different scenario if I just obey her the entire time. If I want to stay here. I wonder if I keep on going then the game will just end? That will be weird, but... Hmm. I don't want to upset her, I don't think she's evil. But... I don't know, I guess we'll just find out. Because I don't know how to follow directions. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. We have to fight her? Okay, so this is one of those situations where, like, I don't want to fight you, so what do I do? Let's see, attack 80, defense 80 knows best for you. Hello! Oh god. Uh, let's talk? Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Uh, how about snails? That's a good conversation topic. Jesus Christ! She looks through you. Oh god. Uh, try talking again. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh, it got wider for some reason. Jesus Christ, it's, is it gonna be this difficult throughout the entire stinking game? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh no. Can I run away? Escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. Wow. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Huh. It's so weird that she's willing to fight us. Like, you want us to not die, but then we try to leave and you try and kill us anyway. So is she trustworthy after all? I don't know, it's just such a weird relationship. <laughs> I don't know why, I just thought something would happen. Huh. I guess we don't have a choice. There's no way I could have beaten her. Nor do I want... Though, I could have changed the fight by just lowering her HP. But if I go upstairs, then like I feel like the story's gonna progress. Oh, jeez. I'm afraid of using these items as well. Like I feel like every one of them is important. Let's just see what happens. She's got a lot of stinking HP! Woo! Jesus! Okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to see like how long it would take to defeat her. I'm not gonna attempt it. Oh jeez, I wish- I hope there is a way to increase your HP later on in the game, cause if fights are gonna get that extreme in the future, I'm gonna want the extra HP. Oh, but now she's just gonna be mad at us, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted to see what was down here, and like it was just a door. I was expecting like some sort of crazy secret, but no, she just fights you. That's so weird. So I go to my room. Here I am in my very red room. Human, please. Wake up! You are the future of humans and monsters! Uh, who was it? <laughs> uh, nothing else over here. It's you! Room under renovations, okay. Toriel, is she in here? No, she's not. Is there anything new in the diary? Just a regular old bucket. No, I didn't want to say that. I want to see that Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yes. 
Uh, nothing new. But who was that, and where do we go? Is Toriel over here? No, she is not. Well, she said she was destroying the passage. No one's around. I'm gonna assume Toriel's down there, but maybe she isn't. Let's just check. See if we could escape or do something. And it was just Toriel down there, so... Uh, we're just gonna go outside then? Uh, we could save the game, I guess. Seen such a cute, tidy house in this ruins gives you determination. Sure, save the game. Keep on going. Where was the voice coming from, though? I'm gonna get lost, aren't I? Uh-oh. I... So, on my way through backtracking... Decided not to take some. I tried to just... I took two monster candies by accident. Hopefully that won't come back. It just said take one. So I was like, like, okay, I'll take one. But it actually meant take only one or else you'll be dead. Hopefully I won't come to regret that later. It's like, maybe it's just like the Berglund Park thing in Earthbound where it doesn't actually mean anything. It's just an emotional, moral thing. They said how disgusting. Wow, okay. Okay, I went around the entire stinking world again and there was literally nothing. So the only thing I can do is fight Toriel. So... I'm just gonna lose on purpose, aka I'm gonna try and beat her, but I'm gonna lose on purpose, and see where that takes me, because I have literally no idea what else I'm supposed to do. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? I have no idea. Let's see how this goes. Fight Toriel. Uh, 24 HP damage, hardly does anything. Okay, okay, okay. How did I survive that? Okay, so it is possible. I'm- oh, she's preparing a magical attack, oh god. Uh, I doubt she's gonna listen to anything right now. Let's fight, keep on fighting. I wonder if the weapons will be more and more difficult to use as time goes on! Jesus! Ugh. It is possible to fight her. I'm sure people have done it, but... I just doubt I'll be able to do it on my first try. Let's go and do that. 30 damage. And, oh Jesus Christ, how do you even avoid something like that? She looks through you. Uh, keep on fighting. Uh, we got 27 damage. Oh jeez, oh god, oh god, oh god. How much do you want to bet, like, the key is to just do nothing? Let's go and use our illegal monster candy. You ate the monster candy, recover 10 HP. Okay, oh jeez. Uh, acting aloof. There's nothing we can do, though. She's not gonna do mercy. Do that. Oh boy. Oh jeez. What? It's acting aloof. What? How did I end it? Or just getting hit by that, it stopped the attack. Couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh god. Just one? Oh jeez. Oh, I still got hurt. Takes a deep breath. Uh, is that my sign that like I need to do something? 25. Oh come on, just stop doing that. No. Like it knows your pattern. Like it's so difficult. Take another monster candy then. Cover 10 HP. See? Learn from your, from my mistakes. Okay, maybe not entirely. Oh god. Takes a deep breath. Attack. I'm actually fighting her. This is so seeming weird. Like, I thought she was gonna be our ally for the entire game. Like, I know that the premise of the game was that you could go you could go through the game without killing anyone. But I guess the other concept is you could also, if you want to, kill everyone. Literally everyone. I don't want to do that, I'd rather not, but we'll just see what happens, I guess. She's still just being a jerk. 25 HP of damage and just, oh jeez. I think for this one, the idea is to stand still. God darn it, she looks through you again. She won't do the mercy thing, act, talk, you tried to think of something to say again, but didn't work. I should just stop doing that altogether. Oh, Jesus. It's a 
attack right in the middle. Oh, no, no! <sighs> you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. No! Oh my god, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Is it- Because that was the first time I got it perfectly right in the middle. Is that scripted? Three- I- I- You couldn't have prepared me for that. Does she die no matter what? Oh my god, I feel horrible. I just wonder, like- there could have been a way to stop it. Like, it was just going so slow, and then... It's just that the fact that I think that was our only attack that went down directly through the middle. And I feel like if I didn't do that, then... I wouldn't have killed her. I didn't want to kill her. Oh my god. I really want a hashtag reset right now, cause... But I know that's not what this game is about. I know... <laughs> but still... What? Now I'm magically level 5, cause I killed her. But she's a main character. Like, oh my god, what? I don't know. I'm so lost right now. I didn't want that to happen. Was there any way to prevent it? Like, it would be one thing if I just went too far with the damage. Like, I just wanted to get, like, a little sliver, but then wound up doing a bit more than I thought it would. But that was just not fair. So that's how I expected this game to be, like... I would try to do a pacifist run, but I would fail at some parts, but right at the beginning, and the fact that it was her, I, I don't know, like, I'm just so confused on, like, what is and isn't in my control. I don't know what else to say, I guess I just have to accept my mistake. I literally tried everything I can to, well... I could maybe if I listened to her from the beginning, that fight wouldn't have even happened. I don't know. I guess there's nothing I could really do about it. I just have to keep moving forward and accept the consequences of my actions. Of course it's you. Why are you stinking here? <laughs> I hope you like your choice. I don't. After all, it's not as if you could go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it... <laughs> 
she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. I stinking hate you. Nothing else we can do in here, I guess. I wish I had killed you in the beginning of the game, and I, I had the ability, probably. <sighs> oh! Title screen! I get, wait, is the game over? What?! And that is under... T okay, no. I was wondering, like, I thought that was the credits. I was like, what? I feel like... I don't know how much got cut out because of me backtracking. I'm afraid this episode is super short, but I can't see... I can't think of a better way to end the episode off. So we're going to end it here. Next time on Undertale... I don't know. I'm going to feel crummy about something else, probably. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.